Alright, in this test we're going to test California almonds, raw and in the shell. These almonds were purchased in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA. This is test one for the background for the wonderful almond nuts. 287, four count, 0.48. Test two background on the almonds, 288, four count high, 0.48. Test three background, almonds, 274, four count, 0.46. Test one on the wonderful almonds, 398, four count high, 0.66. Test two on the wonderful almonds, I'm getting a 402, five count high, 0.67. Test three on the wonderful almonds. That's a four oh three four count point six seven. There's the date, November twenty fourth, two thousand and twelve. I bought the blue diamond almonds. Alright, today is November 24th, 2012. This is the first test on the blue diamond almonds, and I'm getting a 409. Four count high, 0.68. Test two on the blue diamond almonds, 386. Four count high, 0.64. Test three on the blue almonds, three eighty one, five count high, point six four. Alright, these are the 2012 expiration date. So this is the older almond.
what I noticed is there's down more towards the middle here I was getting a lower reading than I am here so it might just go to show that the almonds here are coming definitely from different trees in different areas so some would have it more than others First test, almonds in the shell, 2012, 419, 5 high, 0.70. Test 2, shelled almond, 2012, 401, 5 count, high, 0.67. Test 3 shelled almonds 2012, 386, 4 count, 0.64. Alright, this is the batch that is the fresher batch, expiration 2013. Test 1 of the California almonds in their shells Best Buy 2013 424 count 5 count high 0.71 is the average data point Test 2 on the almonds with their shells on expiration 2013 446 4 count high 0.74 average data point All right, my conclusion on the California almonds is with the radiation fallout coming over the Pacific Ocean from Japan, the first landmass that it hits is the West Coast, and that would be uh, including California. So that's why I picked up these California almonds, and my hunch was right. The uh, When the fallout comes and hits the land, it's going to either hit the soil or the plants, and I believe that they landed on 
these almonds, the almond trees. It may be only slightly above the background. I think it's over about 100 counts per 10 minutes, but uh, it may be well within the safe range. I don't know that. So uh, uh, I'm just showing that it is picking something up and uh, that's it. That's what that's what the uh, test shows. So you could take whatever you want with the information, and uh, that's it. Okay, so they're only one and a half times over background radiation. Someone would say, but that's only in a handful of almonds. I would say. What I worry about is the accumulative effect. Oh yeah, there might be a little bit of radiation here and a little bit there, but if it ends up getting in all our food then it just might come to a tipping point where it may be influencing uh, some mutations. Background? California almonds. Background? California almonds. Background? California almonds. Background? California almonds. <laughs>